Your WCBI First Alert AccuWeather Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Keith Gibson. Once again, no active severe weather warnings in our area right now. Let's go in and show you the SkyCam network. Our bank first camera in Columbus, 75 degrees, beginning to see a little bit more sunshine across parts of the area. 71 at Durham's in Vernon, now up to 72 degrees. We've had some wet weather out your way. Around 70 in Louisville, we've had some rain and storms around, but right now we're doing okay with some sunshine. Tupelo, 76 degrees. Your high today. 81, if you can believe it. Now, here's the big picture, our radar. Let's do a tour, if you will, and come on in. We're watching some of these cells back here across northwestern Mississippi. These are lifting to the northeast. We got a little bit of lightning showing up there with that one way up to the northwest and a few showers here from New Albany to Ripley. Uh, nothing really to be concerned about. A uh, shower in western Clay County, we'll watch that. A thunderstorm down here in Knoxby County. A regular old-fashioned thunderstorm. No rotation being sensed by radar in this, but more rain, more lightning, more breezes coming out of that. And we are watching this line that goes all the way back to Meridian, down to Ellisville, and down into southern Mississippi. Uh, this is all lifting east-northeast, and most of, most of this will bypass our area, but uh, some of that clipping Knoxby and eventually Pickens County over in Alabama. The most intense activity now, tornado emergencies in effect, especially with that one just east of Brent, Alabama. That has a debris ball signature with it. It's a very intense storm. All of these over here into central Alabama today have been very intense. And here's the big picture as we zoom way out in outer space. There's an area of low pressure back to the northwest. A cold front is slicing into our area now. Out ahead of it, this is where the most intense activity has been and is lifting northeast. So we still have another hour or two or three to babysit radar to see what comes out of those showers. But the prime time window of severe weather opportunity for us looks like it's closing right now. Uh, we'll just monitor for the next couple of hours and see how things go. Well into the 70s and 80s and a good chunk of the region, dew points well into the 60s, plenty of fuel to uh, get those storms going. Now, after the cold front moves through this evening, the storms go away. We'll cool down upper 40s to low 50s, and those breezes will relax by sunrise. Our Friday looking very nice if you have plans outdoors. The grass could be a bit soggy after the several inches of rain we had today, uh, but a lot of sunshine really from sunrise to sunset. Temperatures in the mid 70s in most spots here in northeast Mississippi and west Alabama with fairly tolerable wind, too. We say goodbye to the rain and storms tonight. The front goes away. High pressure briefly moves on in for our Friday. Now, the front that's coming through tonight will stall out to our south. It's going to lift back north as a warm front tomorrow night, and that could kick off more showers and storms early Saturday morning. There could be a little bit of small hail in that. We'll watch and see. Not guaranteed, but it's a possibility. As we get into Saturday, out ahead of the next front, it's warm, it's humid. Low 80s for highs, but this front will come on in late in the day and Saturday night. More rain, more storms, maybe some strong storms. Gusty wind, heavy rain, maybe a little bit of hail too. And then some cooler weather behind it as we get into the end of the weekend and early next week. Here's your AccuWeather 70 forecast. So mostly sunny to partly cloudy on our Friday. A great looking day for us. Storms return Saturday, still warm. We're going to go with 80, but some of you could be warmer than that. Some rain Sunday morning, then probably clearing out a little bit during the second half of the day. Cooler, though, upper 60s, low 70s into early next week. Staying unsettled into your Tuesday and Wednesday. Much cooler by next Thursday.